Have the video first, please. Here we go. Having the patients assess their medical results. 63-year-old Pierre was operated on three months ago for prostate cancer. Having been hospitalized for more than two nights, he was asked to fill out an online satisfaction survey. Did they ask him anything about incontinence and the impotence issues that worried him the most? Not really. On the contrary, the ease at this question that was developed by the French Health Authority contains scores of questions about his perception of the hospital's welcome, the cleanliness of his room, the visiting hours, the clarity of the information received, the, qu the quality of the meals served, etc. But what about Pierre's health after his operation? Out of 60 questions, only one is dedicated to health on ninth and last page. To conclude, how do you feel today compared with the day before your, your admission? Assessing a hospital on the basis of its hotel or administrative services does not really answer the questions. And the medical indicators are only partial. In fact, the quality measurement of the care is limited to its conformity alone. What's the solution for a more relevant assessment? That the healthcare system be judged on the basis of the values it offers to patients. In this case, the healthcare results for a patient with heart failure should be assessed according to his perceptions and his quality of life during and after the care. Does he have trouble sleeping? Does he feel anxious? Does he feel safe in the workplace? Has he been able to golf again? Is he able to carry his care for his children, grandchildren, to carry the bags when food shopping? This new model would move away from an obligation of means and come closer to an obligation of results, more useful to help improve a treatment. In 2006, Evening established the quality index for heart attack care. Sweden published the scores of the various hospitals around the country. Three years later, this transparency had paid off. The scores of the hospitals that were below average had improved by 40%, almost erasing the gap between the so-called good and bad hospitals.